हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कथा इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड इनवर्स डिस्क्रिट फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजिंग एफ एफ टी अल्कोरिथम्स इट मे बी डी आई टी और डी आई एफ अल्कोरिथम्स सो इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आई डी एफ टी फर्स्ट विल राइट इक्वेशन ऑफ इट एज यू नो दैट आई डी एफ टी ऑफ एक्स के is we have that equation x of n is equals to 1 upon n summation now here the input will be x k hence summation from 0 to n minus 1 into e raised to plus j and this terms as it is where the values of n are from 0 to n minus now, in order to implement this using FFT algorithms, it may be DIT or DIF, we need Tudel factors. So, we represent this entire equation in the form of Tudel factors. So, I am writing Tudel factor. You know that omega n will be e raised to minus j 2 pi by n. Now, if I substitute this value here, our IDFT becomes 1 by n summation x k now see this is positive and total factor is nothing but e raised to minus j so if you replace this value we can write this as omega n with minus sign and these two variables as it is k into n the reason is here it is uh, e to the power plus j 2 pi by n it should be omega n raised to minus 1 so we can write this as omega n raised to minus k n now the main thing is what uh, the total factor we are getting is negative omega n raised to minus values we are getting but as far as 8 point or 4 point is considered so total factor should be positive that means we have to make this positive now to make this positive if you see this is an exponential term e raised to minus j now e raised to minus j can be written as e to the power plus j if and only if if you take its complex conjugate this may be possible if I take complex conjugate e raised to j theta or we can write e raised to minus j theta as cos theta minus j sine so if I write e raised to j theta plus it becomes cos plus j sine theta so if I take complex conjugate on both the sides it may be possible that this is represented in the form of positive terms so I am writing now take complex conjugate on both the side so this is x n this becomes x complex of n now we'll multiply with number of samples and this term entire becomes 0 to n minus 1 now this term we can write x complex of k into omega n raised to plus k n that means now we can find its inverse Fourier transform or we can say that inverse discrete Fourier transform now, whenever you are finding IDFT, follow the same method, maybe DIT or DIF, notations are going to be same, only the change is the input sequence, if it is given x of k, first find its complex, that is x complex of k, and based on that you can find the IDFT. Now, let us see one example of this, In the question I already written, now the question is find <coughs> IDFT of the given sequence using DIT FFT algorithm. Now this is a four point that means number of samples are four and it is going to be two stage decimation. So first we'll draw four lines for this. Now decimation in time will divide the given sequence into E1 and odd samples. So you can see this is x0, x1, x2, x3. So we'll form a group of even samples and odd samples so I am writing x0 x2 x1 x3 first mapping between these two terms similarly in these two terms and finally mapping between even and odds
and this will gives us dft x0 x1 this is x2 and this will be x3 now this is four point hence student factor omega 4 0 omega 4 0 and in this case if you write the total factor it will be omega 4 0 and this is omega 4 is to 1 uh, again we will keep this minus and these terms are going to be minus now the only change is whatever the sequence we are writing it should be complex one so first thing we will form or we will write x complex of k real terms as it is so this is minus 2 minus j2 this minus 2 as it is now this is complex we get right minus 2 plus j into 2 so we will have that equations or values x0 is 10 x2 is minus 2 x1 is minus 2 minus j2 and x3 we have minus 2 plus j2 now we'll simply find their output terms starting with the first stage of decimation output a0 a1 a2 and a3 so i'm writing it here first stage outputs we'll write the equation here a0 is equal to it depends upon the two values addition of x0 with x2 so we'll write x0 plus omega 4 0 into x2 similarly next equation a1 a1 is equals to x0 this is minus and total factor with the second value omega 4 naught into x2 this is a2 a2 is addition of these two with total factor so we can write x1 plus omega 4 naught into x3 even if you take all those samples as a capital one it will be fine and finally a3 difference between these two x1 minus x3 now this values here the value is 10 omega 4 naught will be 1 we have seen this earlier and uh, x2 is minus 2 so 10 minus 2 will be 8 here this is 10 minus of minus 2 will be 12 x1 is now we have minus 2 minus j2 plus omega 4 naught will be 1 and x3 is minus 2 plus j2 so this imaginary will get cancelled and this value remains minus 4 here minus 2 minus j2 into minus of minus 2 plus j2 so if i simplify this becomes plus 2 and this is minus j2 so plus minus get cancelled and it remains with minus j4 that means first stage decimation output we got 8 12 minus 4 and minus j4 like this now we'll try to find output of second stage decimation now we are writing this equation here i will take the reference x naught first output x naught is equal to it depends upon first input as a naught and if i trace this line second input is with a2 so omega 4 naught into a2 next we will write for x1 x1 is equals to a1 and a3 so a1 plus omega 4 1 into a3 next is x2 x2's first input is a0 minus omega 4 naught into a2 omega 4 naught 0 into a2 and last is x3 difference of these two that is a1 minus omega 4 raised to 1 into a3 now we will simply uh, put their values so here 8 plus omega 4 naught is 1 into a2 a2 is minus 4 so this is minus 4 so we will get 8 minus 4 as 4 this one a1 a1 is 12 plus omega 4 is to 1 will be minus j now how we got these values uh, we have discussed this in case of how to find 
DFT using two del factors. So we have drawn it for four point as well as for eight points also. And A3 we got as minus J4. Now I am simplifying this toward this side. So we can write this term as 12. This minus minus becomes plus J square into 4. And only that J square is minus. So 12 minus 4 will be 8. Now this one A naught minus this part will do. So for that case again A naught is given 8 minus 1 into A2 is minus 4. So this minus minus becomes plus and this value is 12. Now this one A1 is 12 minus this is minus J into A3 is minus J4. So this becomes 12 and this is minus this minus minus is plus J square into 4. J square is minus 1 so this minus minus becomes plus. So 12 plus 4 will be 16. That means we got the sequence as xn is equal to 4 next value we got as 12 sorry this is 8 then this is 12 and this one is 16 okay now as we are retrieving the original sequence x of n so this entire term should be divided by number of samples that means finally I am writing xn is equals to 1 by n into these terms 4, 8, 12 and 16. This is an important term. Whenever you are retrying the original signals, try to divide it with the number of samples. Here it is 4 samples are given. So if I divide this entire terms by 4, 4 by 4 will be 1, 4, 8 by 4 will be 2, this will be 3 and this is 4. So this becomes our input sequence as x shop. So in this way, one can easily find IDFT either using DITFFT or DIFFFT algorithms. The butterfly structure is going to be same, only the changes, the, if the input sequence is given in a complex form, try to take its complex conjugate and in final step, divide it with number of samples. Thank you.